What's up everyone? Avengers is on Blu-ray. Avengers Infinity War, probably still my favorite film this year. I can't wait to talk about this. I'm reviewing the Blu-ray for a couple different reasons. One, I have it. I gotta talk about it. I gotta gush about Avengers Infinity War again. Two, I got the gauntlet. I killed Thanos. I did something the Avengers couldn't do. And three, there are so many cool things about this Blu-ray that I do need to talk about. And I mean that in general. Like, there are some spectacular things on this Blu-ray that are worth talking about. Because I'm not usually the type of person to be into all the scenes, bonus scenes, and special features, and director commentary. No, I just like re-watching these films, and of course I've already re-watched this film three times, once the director's commentary, and twice just by itself, because this film still gives me goosebumps. And we'll talk about that in a second, but let me set this down over here, let me throw my gauntlet back down here, let's protect it back there for a second, and let's talk about this Blu-ray. So, again, I'm not the biggest, like, bonus features fan and I will say the bonus features in here are incredible they pack this film with tons of stuff and I, I, I'm gonna keep this non spoilers of course if you're someone who still has not seen this film you're one of the only people in the world that never saw Avengers Infinity War non spoilers here now, Avengers Infinity War, one, the visuals leak out on screen, bleed out on screen. I have a 4K HDR TV, bleeds out on that. Looks amazing, looks superb, looks just incredible by all means. It just, it looks, it looks insane. It, it literally looks insane. And I, I love the detail that this film carries. I mean, just look at the slipcover. The slipcover is like the same damn weight. Like just, the, you see the beauty on it. You see the beauty on this thing. And, but again, the visuals are fantastic. The audio sounds great. It literally makes you feel like you're back in the theater. And the reason I say that is because when I was in the theater, it, the, my experience with this film felt like I was watching and being at a concert, like a big rock and roll concert, but everyone's there, everyone's a nerd, everyone's a comic book geek, and it still gives you that feeling where you want to cheer, where you laugh, where you're crying, where you're into the film, just because it's that entertaining. And I absolutely love that the film still carried that feeling, because even though I saw it four times in theaters, sometimes when you bring a film home, that effect goes away. So like a film recently, A Quiet Place, I still really like the film, but that quiet effect isn't as well done at home in my opinion. I feel like the theater is a very different experience for that movie, and this film I, I think is probably one of the best transfers of film, like watching a film in the theater and coming back home and watching it, and still retaining these same feelings. Especially even after knowing everything that's gonna happen. I saw it four times in theater, like I said, and three times at home already, and each time I still got goosebumps. I still felt like I was getting spider senses, my hair's tingling up and everything, because I was so invested in this. I I was laughing, I was crying, I was getting into the story, I was cheering, I was rocking out, even though by myself when I was watching it by myself, I was so into the story again, I was into all the moments, again, even though I knew what was going to happen, there are some fantastic moments in here that get you on the edge of your seat, where you're just like, whoa my god, this is going to happen, this is going to happen, I know this is going to happen, but I can't wait to see it, the action beats, the cinematography, the jokes, the characters, the character dynamics, everything going about that route works magnificently. Can I I just vent like how good Thanos is as a villain and how damn good he looks like the visual effects in here are great and that's something where I want to get into the bonus features one of the bonus features in here is the director's commentary which also has the writers in here it is one of the most compelling commentaries I've ever watched on a film and I'm not like again I'm not the biggest person to get and kind of get into these features but this is the film that I was really diving in deep into because there's stuff I want to know more about the development of this film because for me this is 10 years culminating together to make this movie and they did it the Russo brothers did it, Marcus McFeely and the other writer also did it, and it's just insane to hear it. it, it, it it's beautiful. It, it, it's insane to see that. Because this film really is the two towers and the Empire Strikes Back of the MCU, and for them to culminate every single thing, every hero, every single little beat from every movie, and put it all together in one film, it's special. That director's commentary really looks you into other facts, things that they were going to change, things that they did change, things that they changed from the story, and either things about characters that they don't mention. So they mention uh, Korg, Meek, and Valkyrie aren't in the film. We don't get any dialogue of where they go, but even though in Thor Ragnarok, you know, th picks up right after Thor Ragnarok, you're like, kind of like, scratch your head, like, where do they go? They talk about that type of stuff, and that is the type of stuff I was invested in. So if you're a big MCU fan, the director's commentary is there for you. Also, some other nice bonus features in here, which again, kind of go into the story of how they perspected themselves to make Thanos, how they chose which characters to wield with one another. So you have Iron Man, Spider-Man, and Doctor Strange all with one another, uh, Cap, Bucky, and them with another, um, Thor, Rocket, how they decided to make all them too, and all the visual effects too behind say the battle of wakanda even the battle on titan which i mean, those action sequences are crazy but for me I, I love the battle on titan i think it's spectacular it's probably my favorite in the whole movie 
There's even some nice deleted scenes in here that, yeah, the special effects aren't done because I, they're just bonus scenes, but two of them in particular, you can totally tell like, oh yeah, they probably went back and reshot some different things, but I still appreciate that. You know, you get a scene with Happy Hogan from Iron Man, which I was like, oh my God, Happy's in here. I love Happy. You also get some other cool moments with Wanda and Vision and the Black Order, and you even get to get some other moments with Drax and Star-Lord right after the battle on Nowhere. Even a little scene between Thanos and Gamora. Can I even mention this again? Zoe Saldana is spectacular as Gamora. Like, just a round of applause for her real fast. And also, of course, the gag reel on here is awesome. It's awesome seeing them just joke around, laugh with each other, and just have a bunch of fun on set, because this film just looked like a bunch of fun. I even gotta say, if you have the digital copy, there's even a round table of all the directors, most of the big notable directors in the MCU, talking about how their films play perspectives into the MCU, which that was the thing that I really liked. Again, this like whole thing is just jam-packed with stuff, and I just appreciated it on every level. Since this is cinematic history right here, the fact that Marvel has pulled this off, where they've made a whole standalone universe that everything just weaves in and ties into this film is insane i absolutely love this film i cannot wait to watch this film again it, this film is easily a, creaking into my top 15 of all time and that's hard that's a hard list to crack but it's creeping in there with each time i watch it each time i watch it i love it more and more and this film is just something to behold if you have not checked out avengers infinity war yet go buy it on blu-ray I can even attest this to if you're not a big fan of the Avengers or MCU, if you just like them, but you're like, oh, I don't know like if it's for me because I haven't watched all of them, it's worth it. I've watched this film with people who have never seen any of the MCU, find out that they love it. I've met people who have seen the film, who again aren't in the same way and they dug it a ton. This film is something special. And there's so much emotion in this film, so much craftsmanship and so much stuff that it just gets me more and more hyped for the next Avengers film. So guys, of course, this is my review on Avengers Infinity Wars Blu-ray. Comes out this Tuesday, August 14th, and I hope you guys check it out. Tell me guys, have you guys already picked it up? Let's talk about it down below in the comments. So do you guys think this film is a masterpiece? Because I do, I think this film's freaking awesome. Tell me guys, are you guys excited for Avengers coming home on Blu-ray? Are you guys excited to pick it up? What version are you picking up? Are you just picking up the regular version, the DVD, the 4K Blu-ray Steelbook? Cause I already pre-ordered that thing. I gotta get that thing too. Or the Digibook at Target. I wanna know what you guys picked up. I wanna know what your guys thoughts are on Avengers Infinity War, how excited are you guys to rewatch this film, and let's put it down below, a little bit of the spoiler context, what is your favorite moment from Avengers Infinity War? Mine, it's tough, I don't want to talk about it because spoilers, but I'll be replying back to your guys down below in the comments, thank you guys so much for watching this, you guys are seriously all the best, if you're new here, hit that like and subscribe button, plus go hit up Sandwich on Films down below, because right down there you guys can get into advanced movie screens, check out some movie news, and also some movie reviews. So guys, until next time, look out for more movie reviews soon, and stay classy.